Hey guys, I'm LB, and the knock asked me to play his map. No water temple, but gel and cubes. Please note, this map now features 999.9 repeated, more water, as requested by Batcat. Welcome to my new chamber which I've created thanks to inspiration from Batcat's recent water temple and gel- uh, water temple gel and cubes. There's nothing too difficult in this one, so it shouldn't take too long. Please report any bugs and I'll be sure to iron them out. I did see that Deathwish played this twice, so there must have been a bug in the first revision, and it is at 1.1 now. See changelog for all updates. And we've got links. Lots of links. Check out those links, guys. Let's check the change notes. Fix an issue to prevent gel abuse. Fixed issues with visual easter eggs. Add extra lighting and remove the knock logic. Alright, well, let's get started. I actually have the map loaded this time. Imagine that. Ooh, I love... I love when maps use this one. The Starfield background. Wow. What an interesting little... little room here. We've got all kinds of interesting things, like these light bridges. Let's see... What, what, what good is that gonna do me? Now, I did notice... I didn't- I don't think it was in the map in my playthrough, but I noticed in Nox's playthrough of, uh, the Gel Temple map that the portal surface on the ceiling has a fizzler, and I don't remember that in my playthrough. I think it might have been added later, I don't know. To be honest, I don't actually know how I even solved the map in my livestream. That was just kind of... something that happened. <laughs> After people were yelling at me to use the fizzler, and I'm like, what fizzler?! Yeah, if you missed the stream, go check it out, the 256 subscriber special. But already this is looking similar in style to Batcat's map, as Nox said it would it would do. Alright, let's press this button and get a cube. Oh, it's a companion cube. Good enough. Alright, so what do we want to use the gel for? Also, what does this do? Moon. What does moon go to? That. Is this permanent? It appears to be permanent. Yep, I can't untoggle it, and there's no kicking sound, even though there is signage, so it's permanent. And then we have X, which is just a button. X and slash, yep. And then... wait a sec. Really? This says slash, and that says slash. Am I missing something here? Oh! Oh, I was trying to figure out how you could have one thing inverted and the other thing not inverted. But... I guess... May maybe it's a B-Mod thing, because I don't know how to do that in Vanilla Puzzle Maker. Alright, so we've got- we've got the funnel now, right? Let's see what this does. Something over there... get the cube back. I'm still trying to figure out what we want to use the gel for. Obviously we want to put the gel on the cube at some point to get it off the button, but I'm not entirely sure about why. Ah, this cube's messed up, whatever. I'll fix it later. I guess this is just to make sure that we can't jump on the gel from up here. Oh, hello! There's another cube up there. That one... That's kind of weird, like, that one could get fizzled and would have no replacement. I guess it's just optional. What would we use the gel for? This goes to... A... A funnel. So we use a funnel to put a cube on a button, which activates another funnel to put another cube on another button. But to come all the way back here and disables the emancipation field. Ah, okay. 
All right then. this portal here, and we'll put this cube up here. Come on. There we go. We'll walk up the stairs, and then we'll do this, and just hope... <laughs> wow, that was... that was interesting and lucky. Oh, and of course that would be a thing, wouldn't it? So what we actually want to do is have the cube get fizzled. Right. Oh, I remember that. I remember that now from how Nock solved that cat's puzzle, which again is not the way I solved it because I don't even think it was possible to solve it that way at that time. But I know what to do now. Let's uh, let's recall this cube, and let's see. Let's clear our portals again because why not? Oh, am I like? Why do I feel... slippery? Is this just how you always walk on grading? I don't know, grading always acts really weird for some reason. I feel really slippery right now, like this is not how the game normally controls. Alright, portal there. Actually, we want to have this a bit more centered. We want it to bounce straight up into the portal. And when it bounces straight up, we'll have moved it to there, and it'll fizzle itself, and there'll be a clean cube that drops into the funnel. Gonna be a trip shot. Ah, come on. Okay, well we gotta reset. I didn't stand on the button for long enough. It's a cool idea, but I think it requires some precise timing. Alright. Portal here. And then... Best way... Come on. <laughs> What's the best way to get that done? Cause... Yeah, we can do that, but... Sometimes it just doesn't want you to shoot the portal. Maybe... Oh, I remember now. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it completely wrong. I'm supposed to shoot the green portal. That... yeah. Give me that. Let's, uh... Let me shoot this portal again here. Wait, I need to actually have that up there. There we go. I know what I'm supposed to do now. It's funny, because I just watched that video this morning, and, uh... completely misremembering what I saw. I haven't seen a video of this map, but I've seen Nock play Bat 
Cat's map. Alright, so what we wanna do... is first of all... not what we currently have. That, and... walk back up here. And then... We'll wanna shoot a- or green up there after we've done this. Come on! It doesn't wanna place the portal! It's so bizarre. Of course, that's just an issue with one by one portal surfaces. This game does not like one by one portal surfaces for some reason. Alright, let's get this set up again. This here. That center? Not really. Could be better. There we go. Walk up here, and... Oh, I shot the wrong portal! <laughs> Panicked! How many times am I gonna do this? Uh, need to re recall the cube. I know what I have to do, it's just a matter of actually pulling it off. And that, if anything, that would be my one complaint. Because in puzzle games, the entire point is that you can easily do whatever you know how to do, but you gotta figure out what to do. In this case, it's just an issue because Portal 2 does not have a slow motion feature built in. Uh, and I didn't clear my portals. There we go. Left, and then right. Black, and then green. Yes! Yes! Did it! Finally! I'm quick saving over that, Nock. Alright, so as expected, we can now get into that room, right? Yes. And there's that. Oh, that's- oh, that's timed. Alright. Dot. Is this dot? I- I can't tell. There's no signage- there's no signage on it. That's weird. Is that a bug because of the gel? I mean, the- the, the goo? Did, is the deadly goo throwing off the signage? Maybe. I didn't see a dot in there that I remember. Great, do I just need to do this? Oh, yep, that was it. That's all I needed to do. Okay. <laughs> Thought it'd be a bit more complicated than that, but I'm- I'm perfectly happy with it being like that. Interesting. Oh, that's- that's glass on top. Okay, I'll try and figure that out. Alright, cool map, Knock. I like how you expanded on Batcat's, uh, other map. Which expanded on something else? I don't remember. Anyway, good job. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you hit the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!